For decades, the processor world has been divided into two camps, x86 and ARM. x86 chips, made by the likes of Intel and AMD, powered traditional PCs and laptops with their high-performance but power-hungry architecture. Meanwhile, ARM chips designed by the British firm ARM were known for their energy efficiency and thus dominated mobile devices. But could a mobile ARM chip ever hope to challenge the reign of x86 in the PC space? Well, Apple changed everything in 2020 by doing the unthinkable. They took their custom-designed iPhone chip and scaled it up to create the M1 for their new MacBooks. And it worked. The M1 brought the efficiency of mobile chips to laptops while still providing desktop class performance. Jaws dropped in the tech community. Was this the beginning of the end for x86? Just when it seemed Apple had cemented its leadership in chip design, a shock announcement came on October 24, 2023 from an unlikely challenger, Qualcomm. At a Huawei conference packed with industry insiders, Qualcomm CEO proclaimed their new Snapdragon X Elite chip for Windows laptops was faster than Apple's latest M2, the successor to the revolutionary M1, and not just by a small margin, but a whopping 30% faster at the same power draw. The crowd was stunned. How could the underdog Qualcomm pull off such a feat and dethrone Apple as the chip performance king? Many rubbed their eyes in disbelief as the benchmarks flashed on the screen. Sure, Apple had proven ARM's potential in laptops, but for Qualcomm to beat them at their own game was unbelievable. Tech analysts rushed to confirm the results. Qualcomm was the new sheriff in town. But how? Well, behind this silicon magic was Qualcomm's secret weapon, a startup called Nuvia, founded in 2019 by three former Apple chip architects. These engineers were like the Avengers of chip design, responsible for many generations of iPhone processors. So, when Qualcomm acquired Nuvia for $1.4 billion in 2021, they gained arguably the best chip minds in the industry. The resulting Snapdragon X Elite was Nuvia's first product for Qualcomm, combining the startup's expertise with Qualcomm's resources. The tech world buzzed with excitement over its Apple-beating performance. After years of dominance, Apple was knocked off its pedestal. Qualcomm proved with the right talent, ARM chips could outmuscle the old x86 guard. So, the gauntlet has been thrown down. The battle for chip supremacy has only just begun. Apple's iron grip on mobile processors had already worried competitors. Now, with Qualcomm matching their laptop chips, the competition is set to reach new heights. Buckle up, because this chip war is going to be wild. Both companies are pushing boundaries thought impossible just years ago. It's anyone's game now. Apple wasn't about to take Qualcomm's challenge lying down. Just a week after the Snapdragon announcement, they fired back with their bombshell, the new M3 chip. This latest silicon masterpiece from Apple offered modest improvements over the previous M2, but technology enthusiasts wondered, was it enough to reclaim the performance crown from Qualcomm's surprise champion? The entire tech world eagerly awaited benchmarks to spark the next bout of this ongoing battle of stats between fans from both camps. When the dust settled from the initial bout, it seemed the Snapdragon X Elite still held a slight edge in some key areas. Its maxed-out 80-watt configuration apparently still bested the M3 Max in crucial multi-threaded workloads, though it seemingly lost in single-threaded tests. But even the lowest power 23 watt version alarmingly kept pace with the middle M3 Pro, an impressive feat against Apple's finest. Make no mistakes though, the M3 clearly extends Apple's undisputed chip technology lead in many critical ways, leveraging TSMC's cutting-edge 3NM manufacturing node. The M3 energy efficiency apparently even surpasses the Snapdragon and Apple's unified system architecture still optimizes software and hardware in a way Qualcomm cannot yet match. The chip war wages on multiple fronts beyond just speed alone. 
So while Qualcomm sees the peak performance crown for now, Apple still holds advantages in other crucial areas. The chip war wages on multiple fronts, not just speed alone. And more challenges arise to threaten both leaders. NVIDIA's planning for a monster ARM chip for data centers with the potential to scale down for laptops, AMD's aligning forces with Samsung for mobile graphics, MediaTek's tweaking its ARM offerings to attack the mid-range PC segment. Make no mistake, the ARM revolution has only just begun. Perhaps the biggest impact will be felt by Microsoft and its Windows partners. Qualcomm's Snapdragon platform finally makes Windows on ARM a serious option, untethering laptops from the x86 architecture. Giants like Lenovo, HP, Dell and others are prepping Snapdragon-powered devices to deliver always-on connectivity and extreme battery life. Windows laptops could see the same benefits iOS gained when Apple moved MacBooks to their ARM chips. It's an exciting time as technology evolves in leaps rather than steps. After over a decade of minimal gains, suddenly the chip market is overflowing with new ideas and competition. Intel scrambling to get its house in order, Apple's no longer the lone ARM star, Qualcomm went from mobile phones to setting PC performance records. What a time to be a tech enthusiast! So the chip wars have only just begun. Apple and Qualcomm have pushed each other to new heights, but hungry challenges are lining up. Every few months could bring a new champion. For consumers like us, it's a golden age. Who doesn't love a good battle for the crown? Of course, behind the scenes of this thrilling race lurks legal intrigue. ARM recently sued Qualcomm, accusing them of violating licensing terms for Nuvia's technologies. ARM argued Qualcomm needed to negotiate new agreements before using Nuvia's designs, even claiming Qualcomm should destroy existing Snapdragon chips. Qualcomm hit back insisting they followed the rules and done nothing illegal. This battle of chip titans now spills into the courtroom. Their lawyers spar over complex legalities surrounding chip IP and licensing. But us tech enthusiasts care more about the chips themselves than the dusty contracts that govern them. We crave faster, more efficient processes to push the boundaries of what our devices can do. So whatever the outcome of this legal spat, it's unlikely to stop the unlocked potential of ARM in laptops. That cat is out of the bag. Exciting times lie ahead. Qualcomm, Apple and an array of challenges will spur each other to innovations at a pace we haven't seen in years. Each quarter may bring a new champion. This intense competition keeps the entire industry on its toes. Complacency and stagnation are chased away by the promise of something faster just around the corner. Even Intel, ruler of x86 for so long, now rushes to refine and defend its crown. The ARM architecture has lit a fire under the chip world, bringing rapid progress across the board. So let the chip makers fight their legal battles. The real winners are people like us. We'll reap the benefits of this technology upheaval with computers and phones beyond our imagination just years ago.